and welcome to today's video. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Oh, it's back. Oh, 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 oh. It's gone. That's right, everybody. For now on, there will be no more face cam for this epi this series that we are doing. There's going to be face cam for other videos, but not for this. Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everybody. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome you to Plundercraft. Now. For those of you who do not know, Plundercraft is, well, none of you guys know, but to those of you who do know that are watching this video, this is Plundercraft. And uh, this is something that I have started myself, and um, we're going to take the rules here and I will show you what Plundercraft is all about. Welcome to Plundercraft. My name, so staff is, of course, me. I'm the creator of this. I'm the one who's helping uh, get all of this started. And uh, so the plunderers, so far, the people that is the people that are joined, is me, my brother, and my neighbor and his sister. Now, they do play on my Xbox because they're not able to go on their Xbox, but uh, that it says YouTube Beast and YouTube Beast 1. But technically, that's just what we call them, so then, you know, it's easier. Then we have all of these different districts. We have the shopping district, the farming district, the animal pen, Plunderville, uh, the minigame island, which is coming soon, and then the personal floating islands, which are coming soon. Uh, then we've also got uh, some shops. We have the wood st redstone shop, the wood shop, the weapon shop, the food shop, the concrete shop, the smelter, the enchanters, and a new shop was just added today, which was, uh, it's called the, the flower shack, I believe. So, just for you guys, for those who know, uh, you guys are allowed to join this. All you need is, uh, Minecraft, uh, what's, Windows 10 edition. Um, hopefully, now, our internet has issues, and sometimes some people can't join. Uh, that happened on Spring City, and that's why no one else can really help me, unless they were to come over. But, um, hopefully this works. I really hope so. But when you start up, you will get five shulker boxes, the color of your choice. It all has to be the same color. Uh, well, you can get different colors, but it doesn't really matter. An end chest, 64 diamonds, that is our currency. Uh, elytra, 64 fireworks, full leather armor, all iron tools. Now, we only have a couple rules. Uh, there are some rules that I do, you know, say to others, but it's don't steal, always listen to staff, follow all signs, have fun. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask the staff. But, uh, we can come over to here, and basically it says the exact same thing. Uh, it's day 21 right now. I believe it's actually day 23, but I haven't been able to change that yet. So we got the shopping district, and it'll teleport you out over here. And then we've got, so this is the world spawn, this is where you spawn when you start up in the world. Uh, we got the bank, we got Plunderville, the farming district, it's literally right beside there. Uh, welcome to the farming district, farm as much as you want, but make sure you replace the seeds. We've got all those farms there, and we can run back. And I'll just give you a tour of all the shops when we get to there. Here we go, I'm going to give you a tour of all the shops. So this is the wood shop. Uh, this is owned by Jonah, my brother. Uh, it has every variant of wood. It does not have, aka, um, uh, like stairs and all that stuff. You have to make that yourself, but you do have to purchase all of this. And they range from three diamonds to one diamond. The redstone shop, which nobody has shopped from yet, just because, um, you know. The wooden really needs redstone yet, and I don't think anybody really knows how to use redstone except for basically me and my brother. But we got pistons, it's got basically everything on it. And of course, TNT, sorry this showcase is unavailable. Obviously we have to do that. We've got, uh, this is the weapon shop right here. Uh, it's got everything in it. I forgot to get food so I might die. Arrows, crossbow, bow, 
Uh, the most expensive thing that you can buy so far is the Totem of Undying, which is 15 diamonds. Uh, I have been playing on the map. I do have God Armor just because I'm staff. And as you can see, my staff, all of my stuff has that on it. Shield is one diamond. Now, t right now, you can't join staff. So if you wanted to apply for staff, sorry, you can't. But you still can join and have a lot of fun. Fireworks, as you can see, I have made some money. We got two diamonds. So I own the weapon shop. It even said that outside. It said Noah. Uh, I think I made a, a bit of money, but I'm not sure if I made any money here. I don't think I did. But I think somebody bought, uh, oops, not that. I had to put that back, by the way. I keep forgetting to put it back. Oh, I had to replenish that. All right. So this is the food shop. Not many people shop from here. Uh, that's basically all you got to know. But come downstairs, and this, the first day that we started, Justin, aka YouTube Beast, came down here and bought all of the pork chops. And it, uh, I had to replenish all that, of course. So that was fun. Next is, so yeah, the food shop is owned basically by me. Oh yeah, the concrete shop. So the concrete shop is pretty expensive. Uh, for sale, so you can also buy your own shopping, own districts, so your own place to build a shop. So for sale, 256 diamonds, aka 464s. It costs a lot of money. So I do have cheats just because I need it. Uh, let's just give myself, what is it called? Um, cooked beef. I'll give myself... 32. Don't worry, guys. I will get rid of everything. Like, I will get rid of this beef. I will not get to keep it during my gameplay. I don't give myself anything. Oh, I forgot to replace that. Now, I do go into creative mode because there are times where some people accidentally break some things, and I do have to do that. But, oh, look at that. So, Justin, he owns this shop, and this is one of the most popular shops. Now, one stack of concrete costs five diamonds. The reason it costs so much is because of how hard it is to get it. That's why it costs so much. Alright, next we have the Gravel Pit. This is owned by Jessica, called the Gravel Mines, whatever. Uh, gravel here. Technically, she doesn't own it yet because she hasn't paid off all of her debt. But, you know, she still kind of owns it. And then she also owns this shop, which is the Flower Shack, the shop I told you just opened. There's nothing in it yet because I haven't made any, I haven't replenished anything yet. This is a smelter. This is free. It's not really a shop. You can just come in here and smelt anything you need to. And if you need to throw anything, there's the lava. So I can easily just throw something in there and it'll burn, of course. This is the enchanting shop. This is the actual shop I have to use creative mode for. I do have to replace that lapis. The reason I have to use creative mode is so I can get all the enchantments, because I come behind here and they ask, they want an enchantment on it, so I give them the enchantments. Or they could do their enchantments themselves, of course. But they want me to do it, of course. Why wouldn't they? Going on, this is the animal pen. You can kill any animal just as long as you spawn some more back in. There's a button with a command block underneath it that spawns in the, the animal. This is Plunderville, the main attraction and the place where all of us love. So when you teleport in, it teleports you this way. So you're just going to have to turn around. And uh, I'll read to the... You, got, you guys can read that for yourself if you ever join. But uh, you can buy a lot here to build whatever you want. Uh, each each lot basically costs 50 diamonds. Then there is a back to hub thing with with barrier blocks around it, so you can't get there. Each lot costs 50 diamonds, uh, except for like this lot. This is a 33 by 33, so it's 65 diamonds. But now we're going to get to where everybody, where we build. All right. So this is the bank. Uh, this is where everybody comes all the time because every three days you get 30 diamonds because everybody runs out of diamonds so quickly because they always go and spend all of their diamonds. So everybody gets 30 diamonds each day. Now see, for me, I don't spend my diamonds because I'm always running around doing stuff for other people. So I've never gotten the chance to actually spend my diamonds to buy anything. But I did almost go broke buying all those stuff to build my house. But we'll get back to that. Um, so as you can see, there are some times that Justin goes and builds this because he broke into the bank one time. I don't know if he stole any money, 
But this is basically, you can come get a loan here, and uh, the person who got the most loans was Jonah. I don't think he realized that you had to pay off what you loaned, and so he was in a lot of debt. Right now, the only person in debt is Jessica, so uh, this row here is what she owes, this is what she's paid. And then going on, we've got uh, Jessica, she has no money in the bank, Jonah has no money in the bank, Justin put 48 diamonds in the bank, and uh, I have just continued to save my money, I don't spend it, and see even here, I have a lot of these just because I need it for staff, I have god loot, which we don't need to worry about that, <laughs> and then we have my diamonds here, which I am only limited to two stacks of diamonds, I need to now leave that there because I don't have a pickaxe to break it. So, I will be back later to break that. But that's the, basically the bank. And I trust them, so I don't really tr think that they're going to go stealing. So, let's start out with the house, of course. It's not done, I guess. We've got... Uh, this is Jessica's house. She's not done it yet. But we can just try and clear up some of the grass here for her. She's the girl who owns the flower shop and the gravel pit and everything like that. That's her horse. It's pretty nice. Then she's got her end chest and stuff. I don't think she realizes that she can't break that. So that's fun. Because she doesn't have a silk touch pickaxe. She, she, she can't get it back. Now I am not going to go into Jonah's house. Because he is right there. He's AFK. Because he's at soccer practice right now. And uh, at the beginning, Justin and Jonah went on an insane killing spree. Where all they did was kill each other. And um, so... It says, I'm sorry for making you lose your totem of undying. Jesus has blessed you. And when you walk in... <laughs> oh, this is all you got. Now, I can't go anywhere farther, because if you go down here, it's... Uh, I'll show you his re reaction later. Uh, we're just going to close that, and I will show you his reaction. Don't worry. You guys will get to see that, and it'll be on YouTube. It'll be great. This is my house. I had to buy every single thing. Now, just so the so if any of you guys join Plundercraft, just letting you know, uh, if there is an item that's not in a shop, aka this stuff or diorite or glass, there's no shops like that yet. Uh, you can get it from me. You can get five stacks of it for one diamond. So all you have to do is pay one diamond. And I'll give you all that. Just because we're at the beginning, and I want to help everybody be able to get everything to try and get a nice head start. This is my house. I built this all, of course, in survival because that's all I'm in. I do go in creative mode when I have to get stuff for other people, aka the enchantments or aka the stacks of stuff. Here's my food. Now, I have, as I showed you, god loot. So I've got a sword with, it's called the master sword. I do have the god sword. I don't know where it is. So that's great. I think I put it back in there. The master sword, it has fire aspect, bane of arthropods, unbreaking, and mending. Then my diamond pickaxe has fortune 3, unbreaking 3, mending 1, and efficiency 5. Silk touch and mending, that is to break my end chest. That's just a shulker box. And then I have all of this. I never wear this because I have my elytra on all the time. My totem of undying. We, you only get one totem of undying, so that's why I don't wear mine. All of my rooms are empty. Everything is empty right now, because I, except for that one bed. And I will sh I'm not going to show you my secret base yet. It's not in the house, don't worry. But, um, going on, we come... So I... So this is not a one lot. This is two different lots. As I said, each lot is a 25 by 25 place. So this lot, this yellow line shows that that was the beginning of the lot. And the lot ended, uh, one, two, three, right here. This is where the lot ended. But I joined the lots together because I also bought this 145 by 25 lot, which was 100 diamonds. I bought that. And Justin did the exact same thing. He bought a 25 by 25 for 50 diamonds and then bought 45 by 25 for 100 diamonds. And this is his house. So he is the one that everybody has had. He has gotten everybody to help him. We all came in here and we've been helping him the entire time. He's got his own lounge. He's Jonah made him his kitchen. I helped him with the floors and the roof. And I also helped him with this running water, which I still have to fix. But uh, this is his kitchen. It's actually really nice. I love his kitchen. And, um, that's basically all. I see that he removed, so today he had a lot of scaffolding to show that his place was under construction. But it looks like he got rid of that. I'm going to now give you an aerial view 
of Plunder Clack Plundercraft. This is an aerial view of everything we've got. Whoops! I almost fell to my death. So we've got the the shopping district there, and uh, we've got all the houses here. As you can see, those two lots haven't been bought, and uh, there's going to be some lots here that I'm going to make just in case if any other people want to join. If you guys want to join and you have micro, if you have Minecraft Microsoft uh, Windows, sorry, Minecraft Windows 10 edition, you can possibly join because um, I do know a lot of my friends on YouTube do have it so you guys might be able to join if it lets you then again you know my internet is garbage so it might not let you welcome to my secret base so uh, this is my secret base uh, I have a lot of shulker boxes and the reason I have this is it's all just for storage so I haven't showed you the god loot yet so here is the god loot this is everything that is in the god loot. Now, it is actually insane. Now, I think one of these is used. I'm not sure. I have a lot of them, just saying. None of them is used, which means I need to go to my house. I'll be right back. All right, I am back uh, after that long thing. I've got my pickaxe here. This is the pickaxe I use the entire time. This can go back in here. I also got the diamonds out from the bank, put them there. But this is basically it. I am going to be building down there later. And I will be making videos on this soon. Uh, there's, going to be, there's going to be many videos on this. I really hope you guys enjoy Plundercraft. Again, you guys can join this. Become a plunderer if it lets you. I really hope it does. Or else I'm going to be really sad if it does not. But anyways, guys, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the outro. What's that? I see it! It's over! It's opening! Yes! 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 Hi! 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 Come on, open it! Yes! Yes! Hi, everyone! I'm sorry about that, but I'm, I, I am sorry. There will not be any face cam for any of the Plundercraft episodes, just because... why not? Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, slap that like button, silly, in the face like there's no tomorrow. If you guys want to join Plundercraft, leave it down in the comments. And if you guys are friends with me on Xbox, you can just message me. And um, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye! Wait, you guys thought I was done? I'm not done till I show you Jonah's reaction. Welcome back, Jonah. Hi. I'm sorry for making you lose your phone of a mine. Jesus has blessed you. <laughs> I see that hole right there. I'm not going in at first. So uh, now Jonah has the most totem on dying out of everyone. All free. And I bet I already know what Joan is going to do. I bet he's going to play a prank on Justin by putting all of those uh, armor stands in Justin's house. I wonder. I actually really wonder what's in that hole. I really want to know what's in that hole. Actually, then I don't really want to know what's in that hole. Okay. Trust me, you want to know what's in that hole. That is so cool. Look at it. It's not taking any damage to my axe. It's so cool. That's because. It really doesn't take anything. It's just an armor stand. It doesn't do anything. Okay, coming down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you good, you good, you good, you good, you good. Have fun getting all of those Totem of Undyings. <laughs> Every one of them has one. This is great. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna put wool. <laughs> I'm gonna put wool and I'm gonna say thank you, thank you for the amazing gift. Thank you for the amazing, no, thank you for the amazing gift. Back from Jesus. Hey, wonder what the best part is? He didn't get any of those soap of the dyings. I gave, I put down all those armor stands. Well, no, I didn't put down the armor stands. He put down all the armor stands. I put all the soap of the dyings in there. Why was one of them dancing? 
Uh, also, I don't know if you saw one of them, but one of them was dabbing. He's not in here. He was upstairs. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, Jonah has a lot to mine now, and uh, I will probably get a reaction video of uh, what Jonah what Jonah did to Justin. So thanks, everyone. Well, uh, this is the I guess the conclusion to the first episode of Plundercraft. I really hope you had enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye.